Great, so we've got to this point where our reference image is ready. So now we can start building the model itself. So what I'm going to do is make sure I've got my create tab open over here. Um, I'm going to actually change views. I'm going to toggle this down and I'm going to go to my top view for this because it's important just be, to be working in the top view, look, looking directly down at the reference image. But my top view, I can't see my image again. So I've got that same problem I had before. So I'm going to change this from wireframe to default shading. And there's my image. Make this view a bit larger. And don't forget also to turn on your edged faces. Without those, you're going to have a bit of a problem. All right, so the first stage we, we need to do is essentially trace out the walls of the building. Okay, so we've got, you know, these are our walls. These bits in between there are the windows um, where you've got this arc here. Uh, here, for example, those are going to be our doors. And you've got all the internal walls as well. Um, doors, obviously, internally. Uh, we've got some bigger windows around the front here, or what I think is actually the back of the building. So we need we need to trace those out, um, and we're going to start by using a plane again, which I know is a flat surface. So we'll trace it all out you know, from a plane, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute, and then we can extrude up from that plane to. Um, you know, build the walls vertically. <laughs> so what I normally do here is I go right to the top left corner, get a plane, and just draw it as a square like that. Okay, make sure these length and width, width segments are at one, because if you turn those up, you're going to have a grid in here, which is going to cause problems. So they need to be one. That's really important. Um, and that's it really, I'm ready to, to start editing. So I'm going to convert that to an editable poly. Come over here to select the edges. Um, if I start going in, in this direction first, if I select that edge, if I hold down the shift key and click and drag, I can obviously create new geometry. I'll go up to there. All right, and I'm letting go of shift now. Um, the reason I've gone up to there is because there's an internal wall here so I need I need a line here because if I then hold shift and go again and shift and go up to there now I've got these two lines here I can select this edge hold shift and I can move in this direction okay um, if you've not gone far enough you don't have to hold shift again to go down to the end you can just move it okay and it won't create an extra line this will probably take some getting used to um, if you're not quite familiar with doing um, doing things in this way. Uh, but you know, once you've done a little bit of it, it'll it'll be fairly clear. So it literally is a case now of holding shift and going across all of the walls, which might take a little bit of time. Um, don't forget your interior walls. Try not to to miss any. If you do, don't worry. I'll show you how to fix it. But I'm just going to go around everything. So I've got a window there. Another internal wall there. Uh, and this might take you some time. So I probably won't do the whole thing in the video. I'll just do some of it and then kind of jump back to a finished version. Okay, so where I've got all these edges in here now, I can obviously go to there. Um, this internal wall that goes all the way down to there. If this is kind of making sense, and I'm going to there, and that means I can go now in this direction. Um, I'll shift to go down here. Okay, so yeah, basically doing that the entire way around. Um, now, if I just show you some some things, you know, you might issues you might have and ways of getting around them. Um, within this video as well. So let's say you held shift and you went past this and you went past that window and past there and you went all the way like down to there for some reason and you missed all this detail in here. Um, if you hold Alt X, we don't hold it, but just press Alt X, you can toggle on transparency, which is quite useful when you're using a reference image because I can see underneath. So I can see when I do Alt X that I've missed this geometry there. There's no line here. Okay, and also here in particular, I need a, a wall that's going to go that way. But I don't have, I just have one edge, one big edge. I don't have that edge to go in this direction. So what am I going to do? What you would do is just 
select this these two edges here so hold control so that I've got them both and I'm going to use the connect tool click connect and it draws an edge between those two then I could just move that into position okay I need another one so get those two connect and there you go I've now got this edge so that I can now go in this direction okay I know I missed those window that window there as well so again I can just go connect I'm going to do alt x so that I can see underneath great these two connect alt x so I can see underneath and that needs to go to there all right so yeah um, that is one way um, another issue you might have so if I for example come down here um, I've got this wall here now I've got this gap here uh, so if I hold shift and go to there well they're not joined up and you can't just like sort of like place it there and expect that to be okay because they're not actually joined together you need to join them correctly so what you can do there if you have you know if let's say you've gone all the way around and you get to the other side how do you join them together well this is what you would do you'd select by holding control those two edges that you want to join together and next to connect there's a button called bridge click bridge and it will connect those like that obviously that's at a slight angle so um, you know you could go to vertex get all those and just you know straighten that out okay it doesn't need to be dead on perfect really at this point especially as we're, we're still learning that's fine last issue you might face is when you come to here you've got things like diagonals okay so everything's been kind of angular at the moment what about this diagonal piece if you hold shift and drag out as normal I can simply just move this edge up to here um, and you know, just get your rotate tool and rotate that edge move that into place you might want to rotate this one as well so get that angle right so it's going to be a case of moving edges uh, rotating them and you can move the individual vertices as well uh, should you need to okay um, same up here where we've got two of them so let's extrude out to there well I'll go in this direction rotate that then I need a, another bit of geometry here so I can do select those and do a connect and then I can extrude up from there obviously it doesn't look right at the moment you know, that's going to take some tweaking um, but you can spend some time really tweaking that and making it look correct mine obviously doesn't look great at the minute but that's fine okay so when it comes to those diagonals you just need to kind of work and work in that way until you've done the entire thing when you've got the all of the walls interior and exterior ones done uh, then that is this section done and when I jump back in the next video uh, this will all be done